protein. It's the king of macronutrients, the backbone of every fitness and health conversation. But how much protein do you actually need? Are you eating too little, too much, or just enough? Today, we're diving into the truth about protein, separating fact from fiction, and breaking down how to get the right amount for your body and lifestyle. First, let's start with the basics. Protein is essential. It's a building block for your muscles, skin, hair, nails, and even your hormones. Unlike carbohydrates and fats, your body doesn't store protein in the same way, which means you need to consume it regularly. But here's where it gets tricky. There's no one-size-fits-all answer to how much protein you need. It depends on your age, weight, activity level, and health goals. The general recommendation for protein intake is 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight per day for the average sedentary adult. For a 70 kilogram person, that's around 56 grams of protein a day. However, this is just the baseline, the bare minimum to prevent deficiency. If you're active, trying to build muscle, or recovering from an illness, you'll need more. For those who work out regularly, especially with strength training, the sweet spot is between 1.2 to 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. That means if you weigh 70 kilograms and are hitting the gym a few times a week, your protein needs jump to anywhere from 84 to 140 grams a day. But what if you're not an athlete? Even if you're just someone trying to stay healthy or lose weight, increasing your protein intake can be beneficial. Protein is the most satiating macronutrient, meaning it helps you feel fuller for longer. This can curb cravings and prevent overeating, making it easier to maintain a calorie deficit if weight loss is your goal. Now, let's address some common myths about protein. Myth number one, eating too much protein is harmful to your kidneys. While it's true that people with pre-existing kidney issues need to monitor their protein intake, for healthy individuals, there's no solid evidence that a high-protein diet damages the kidneys. Myth number two, more protein always equals more muscle. While protein is essential for muscle growth, eating excessive amounts won't magically make you stronger or more muscular. Building muscle also requires resistance training and proper recovery. Myth number three, all protein sources are the same. Not true. The quality of protein matters. Complete proteins, like those found in animal products, chicken, fish, eggs, and dairy, contain all nine essential amino acids your body can't produce on its own. Plant-based proteins like beans, lentils, and nuts are often incomplete, but combining them, like rice and beans, can provide a complete amino acid profile. For vegetarians and vegans, meeting protein needs is absolutely achievable, but it may take a bit more planning. Foods like tofu, tempeh, quinoa, chickpeas, and edamame are excellent plant-based options. And for added convenience, plant-based protein powders can help bridge any gaps. Now, you might be wondering, can you eat too much protein? Technically, yes. Consuming excessive amounts, like double or triple your daily needs, can lead to digestive discomfort, dehydration, and over time, may crowd out other essential nutrients in your diet. But for the average person, this isn't a major concern. So, how do you make sure you're hitting your protein targets without overcomplicating things? Start by including a source of protein in every meal. For example, Breakfast could include eggs or Greek yogurt. Lunch might feature grilled chicken or a turkey sandwich. Dinner could be salmon or a hearty lentil stew. Snacks like nuts, cheese, or protein bars are great for filling in the gaps. And let's not forget portion sizes. A palm-sized portion of meat or fish roughly three to four ounces, contains about 20 to 25 grams of protein. A half cup of cooked beans or lentils has around eight to 10 grams, while a single egg provides about six grams. 
Once you start tracking, you'll see that hitting your daily protein goals isn't as hard as it sounds.